Hello everyone, this is Lori with LM's Crafty Creations. I am here to share with you a little mini that I created using the Prima Heaven Scent paper collection. Um, this was an adorable collection. I couldn't wait to do something with it. And I had thought about this project when I was doing my authentic nestled tutorial. So this is the to that is the tutorial that I used for this except for I made it just a little bit bigger. Um, I don't remember the dimensions of that. I think it was five by five and this is five and a half by five and a half so it's not that much different. Um, what I did on the front here is a belly band and on the inside I just took the paper here and matted this and I did a slit right here so I could stick these extra cute cut aparts in here that I had left over. And then this is just a photo mat, and I've inked around everything with um, Tim Holtz Vintage Photo. And then here I used my favorite photo stamp for the first time, but I didn't quite get a good stamp right there. And then I just put a strip of paper there, so that's just a photo mat. This cardstock that I used is from Tamara's shop, and it's... I believe it's her new cardstock because I got it in a craftology box and it is wonderful. I loved it. It's very heavy duty and um, just great quality. So I mounted the um, belly band with a, or matted, not mounted, the belly band with a uh, cut apart. And then this is a sticker from the collection here. And then there's the spine and the spine is about two inches. And then there's the back. On the inside, I made it just like the nestled um, album. This is just a cut apart the collect from the collection that I mounted on cardstock. And then this flap is magnetic, but it's larger. It's four and a quarter by five and a half. So you can get a good size photo on the top and bottom of this. And that stays close with the magnet. In the pocket, side pocket, I just have um, a little booklet and I didn't paper it all the way around because I loved how thick this cardstock was and it has a good texture so you can just slap your photo right on the top of there. And then I put a couple of stickers from the collection on there. Um, I did use the A4 paper pad to create this and it comes with the um, the cut aparts and some stickers. I think like two sheets of stickers so I thought that was cool. So I did use glitter here and this is just score tape with glitter on top. I used Martha Stewart glitter. I don't know what color this is, I don't remember, but it is from her large pack of glitter, fine glitter. So. Let me see if you can, there you go, there it is. I thought that the greenish blue was just a perfect match to like this little bunny. So um, right here is a little tuck spot. This is a sticker from the collection. And then here's my booklet. I only papered the booklets on the inside and on this flap and I left them plain on the back. So, sorry, I got out of frame there for a minute and then you turn this over. This is a sticker from the collection and then there's just a photo mat here and this is just an extra cut apart that I had left. And then here is a cut apart from the collection and more of my little glitter. And then of course this pulls out and then there's that paper right there. So you could journal here or place a photo. Turn it over and there is a belly band. This is a sticker from the collection. And then I just have, this is a, is this a booklet? Yes it is. A booklet inside. I didn't put any stickers here since we had this one right here. And then, I don't know if you can't really see this paper very well, but it's got the adorable little animals on it. And then here is a little cut apart again with more glitter. I used a half inch strip of glitter here and then these are 3 eighths of an inch strips um, because this cut apart was a little shorter. So I turn this over and there's the inside of that one. And then just a little tuck spot here where you could tuck a photo. I 
turn it over and then there is just that cute image from the paper with the animals and the hot air balloon and you turn that over and you have a space to put a photo here this is a sticker from the collection it says adventure and then you have uh, another booklet this is um, just to cut apart from the collection and they're playing on the inside again this is a cut apart and then there's that adorable confetti paper and then just a large place for a photo well large for this album <laughs> and then I did another belly band this is get it out here another booklet and this is just a sticker from the collection and it's blank on the inside so I did the belly band this is a cut apart from the collection and again another cut apart there's the inside of that one and I love this baby paper so cute turn it over this is a cut apart that I actually um, I just glued down partially here so you could stick stuff behind it in the pocket and then I just stuck some extra cut aparts that I had in here and then another photo mat and then here another cut apart there's the inside paper and then there's that cute animal paper again you can see it better this time turn the page and then again this is part of the paper and this is a sticker from the collection mounted on cardstock so you flip this over and there's just two spaces for photos and then on this side I think this is a cut apart that I cut down to size and then the glitter of course and then there's two decent size spaces for photos and then another booklet inside here with a cute little animal paper and then it's blank on the inside so you could actually put four photos on this if you wanted to and that's it guys super easy um, I will go ahead and provide the measurements in the description box of this particular album. I'm not going to do another tutorial because I've already done the Authentic Nestle tutorial using the same style. So if you need a tutorial to follow, just take the measurements that I provide you down below and follow along with the Nestled tutorial and um, you can create this. It's a super easy one. It comes together super quickly and it makes for a great gift. So I hope that you like it and thanks for watching.